Narendra Modi, the Indian Prime Minister, has spoken out about a moving chat he had with Kenya's former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. On Sunday, February 27, Modi said that during Odinga's February visit to the Asian nation, he had an emotional conversation with him. The two talked about how Rayla's daughter Rosemary Odinga regained her vision and his, Rayla's, strong desire to bring the traditional plants back. He went on to say that Rayla believed that if the plant and the full Ayurveda system were available in Kenya, it would assist a large number of people. Odinga emotionally told me that science of Ayurveda should be brought to Kenya. The kinds of plants used in Ayurveda would be grown and he will ensure that its benefits reach a maximum number of people. It is a matter of great joy for me that due to our land and tradition, a huge suffering from somebody's life has been eradicated, he stated. Rayla and Rosemary had been suffering from the sickness when a friend sent them to the Sridhariyam group of institutions, where they eventually obtained the care they needed. According to the National Center for Complementary Health Ayurveda, NCCH, in India, Ayurvedic medicine dates back over 3,000 years. It begins with an internal cleansing process that is supplemented with a particular diet, herbal medicine, and other supplements such as massage. Ray Rayla promised to build a hospital like the revolutionary Sridhariyam Ayurvedic Eye Hospital and Research Center during his meeting with Modi. During his discussion, he also explained that his daughter's situation began when an operation she underwent in Nairobi interfered with her optical nerve. About three years ago, my daughter became ill. She got a cerebral bleed and had to be operated on in Nairobi as a result. They messed with her optic nerve during the operation. She was then flown to South Africa for treatment. She was treated for three months there. She was unable to regain her vision, unfortunately. We sent her to Israel, and they did nothing, the former prime minister stated. He also sought therapy in Japan and China but received no response until a friend suggested they go to India. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and like. Till next time. Bye.